Classic Game Room is brought to you by Magnum Skywolf. CGR is supported by fans on Patreon. Thank you. Welcome to Classic Game Room for the ultimate driving game experience. It's Pole Position from 1982. It's the mighty pole position from Namco, released to the arcades in 1982, arguably one of the best driving games ever created. And this is a really good version of it, being played on the Atari XEGS computer. This is one of the older Atari computer games, so it should play on your Atari 400 and 800 computer as well. And you may notice this is basically the same version as the Atari 5200 port of the game, except that I'm playing it with the Sega Genesis controller. One of the many reasons I love the Atari XEGS. Sega Genesis controller greater than symbol Atari 5200 controller. Being ejected out the airlock greater than symbol Atari 5200 controller. Being attacked by a giant octopus, greater than symbol, Atari 5200 controller. Jar Jar Binks, playing the GameCom, less than symbol, Atari 5200 controller. Here's what you do in pole position, you drive and win. It's just that simple. The first lap is a qualifying lap. It's like OutRun, if you drive really well and don't crash into anything, you'll survive. You'll get pole position. If you crash into stuff, you'll lose horribly. And be forced to play the game con with Jar Jar. No, it's not that bad. You just don't get pole position. Pole position's the best, it's the front. Although, regardless of how well you place, there's always cars in front of you. There's always obstacles. Pole position is challenging. This was one of the most popular arcade games from the early 80s, and its beauty lies in its simplicity and solid controls. If you've played any driving game in the past 30 years or so, you've basically played a video game inspired by pole position. Outrun is nothing more than a fancy pole position with better music. Except in Outrun, you're actually driving somewhere. In pole position, you just drive circles around the racetrack, which I believe is based on Fuji. You gotta watch this turn, it's the tough one. Break early. Stay away from the right side or you'll crash right into that sign. The controls are extremely simple. You have two gears, low and high. Your car automatically accelerates. Pushing the button will break and slow you down. That comes in handy because crashing into anything in pole position means immediate death and explosion. Not in that order. Also, that pretty much guarantees that you're going to lose the race. The default setting is four laps. If you can make it four laps, you win and gain control of the entire galaxy. Also, you score a lot of points. Watch that sign, Mark. How many people have crashed into that sign over the years? You think at some point they would have moved it. The arcade game had a steering wheel here on the Atari computer. I don't think you do, unless there's a, a steering wheel that I don't have. It does seem to play perfectly well, though, with the standard controller. It's a great game. I mean, what else can I say about pole position that hasn't been said already? There's three different difficulty settings here in the Atari computer version. You can also adjust the number of laps per race. I don't know much about Japanese auto racing, except that it seems like they add cars for each lap. By lap four, there's a lot of traffic on the course. It's like Japanese rush hour. I'm pretty sure I rolled over the finish line there and won the race, but there's really not much of a victory celebration, is there? Shouldn't some girl in high heels come out and give me a trophy or, I don't know, like a hamburger or something? A case of beer? 
They need to go back and fix this. There should be an ending screen that looks like it comes straight out of Conan the Barbarian. You win! Krom is pleased! Imagine this victory screen where you're sitting on the throne wearing a helmet surrounded by girls and snakes and fire holding someone's skull while drinking a chalice of malt liquor. Come to think of it, I've just described the victory screen for life. It's Pole Position. This game is really cheap, it's tons of fun, highly recommended for your Atari computer. Thank you for watching. Follow Classic Game Room on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Patreon. Don't miss Magnum Skywolf, also on Patreon. Welcome to the club. It's the Lord Carnage Club, where I celebrate these backers on Patreon by shouting their name in a volcano. Introducing Michael Fernandez. Oh, yeah! Michael Nelson! Lord Carnage approves. Jim. Moriarty! Sergio Matthias! Hergert! Jason from Kamloops! British Columbia! Busy! Busy. Busy. Signal! Signal! Signal. Al Cyber! Sean Zoltek. <laughs> I'm just kidding again! Sean Zoltek! Stephen Chucknick from New Jersey! Landon Ellerby! He's the administrator of these credits. Philip Straubenmuller of Vienna, Austria! Woo! Jack Stavris from Australia! Home of Mad Max. Ohad Kane! Cue the Thunder. Jeff Captain Dauntless Briar! Rick DeBarros! Out of sight! Will, 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 Will. Kid Shuruken! Fatality! Chip Sink Bale! That was too evil, wasn't it? Let's try that again. Chip Sink Bale! See you next time on Classic Game Room. Thanks for watching.